Hey everybody, it's Kate Richburg and I am live from the Tucson Gem Show. I'm going to hand that over to my compatriot, Emily Miller. Hey Donna, how are you? There's my friend Emily. There's, look at that, Eugenia's back there doing some, um, doing some, hey, how are ya? Hey Zoe Pie. She's doing some demos and stuff back there. There's my mom coming on. Hey everybody. So you can see, let me give a little look, see here. Here I am at the fabulous Tucson Gem Show. At, in the jewelry tools booth and there's some of my partners in crime right over there my lady friends and so what I'm gonna be doing today you guys is I'm gonna be handing this off to my dear friend Emily Miller and she's gonna uh, do some um, filming while I do some demos so I'm gonna hand it to you M thank you and no can you see me now no we need to turn oh, you around let me... there we go check me out how are we doing perfect Oh, B. except there's a B. All right. Hey, everybody. So, all right. As you know, since I've been doing this, I um, let you know I was going to be live from the Tucson Gem Shows. And I am. I'm here at the Jogs Show uh, in the Jewelry Tools booth. And that's where I'll be demonstrating all week. And then a little later this week, I'll be teaching some classes. So I thought it would be super fun for you guys to kind of see my demo setup. And I want to show you, I told you I would show you some paste solder and my uh, favorite jewelry um, soldering tool. Um, as always, when I start out these broadcasts, I always like to say that you can find everything Kate Richburg related at my website at katerichburg.com. And there's links to all of the teaching stuff, everything I do. And just so you know, if you don't catch these periscopes all of this week live, they're going to be archived up on my YouTube channel um, a little bit later um, at the end of uh, the beginning of next week when I get back home. So let's get going, shall we? What I've got in front of me, you guys, is really one of my favorite soldering tools, which is this rotating soldering pan. Now, um, you know, it's not a necessity, it's not a have to thing that you have to have. But when I solder a ring band closed, which I'm going to do right now, it makes such a difference. So let me quickly shape this ring band. I'm going to use my um, barrel shaped pliers here. And this was a really pretty, um, can you get that right in there? Check it out, you guys. This is just some flat wire, copper wire. And Emily actually patterned this a little bit um, earlier with a dimple plier. And can you see all those nice little bumps there? And you could use this on either side. I could use that side, or look at how great the back side looks as well. But I'm gonna go for this side here. And I'm just gonna come in, and I'm gonna use my round barrel pliers. And you know, since this is a jewelry demo and not real jewelry making time, I'm not super worried about the sizing on this. So can you see how I'm just gonna kind of overlap it right here? Now, so I can see what I'm doing. How are we doing so far? I can't see anybody's comments or anything because Emily is um, Emily is uh, filming. But um, as always, I'm super stoked that you're here. So let's go ahead. I'm going to use these Zuron cutters. Now, this Zuron cutter is a fantastic cutter for heavy gauge. And I'm just going to come in and see how when I cut that, can you see that flush edge? I know that you guys remember that when we solder, solder does not flow to fill a join so we've got to have a really flush edge so I'm going to do the same thing there and cut okay and this tool you can see there's my Zuron heavy duty cutter I love it now with that join see how I'm going to bring that join right together and I'm going to use my chain nose pliers to get that nice and flush and can you see, you guys, how there's no air in there at all, right? So now, this is when the magic happens, right? Let's go ahead, and I'm going to use, this is paste solder. Now, those of you who know my books or know my work, you've seen that I use this paste solder. This is silver paste solder, and it's the easy flow. And since I'm just doing one solder join on this ring, I'm going to go for it with the easy. Now, I'm going to take about a two millimeter size solder ball and I'm gonna lay it right on the inside of my join. Can you see that? Hi, how are you? And I'm gonna come in and get one more of those 
and put it right on the inside. And I'm going to do one more. There we go. I like the looks of that. Now, Emily's going to pull this camera back and she's going to, when I solder, this is what makes this soldering pan my favorite tool. Now you guys know, when I'm soldering, as you heat the solder and as you push the flame through that join, the solder is going to follow the flame of the torch. And when my solder board is stationary, I have to kind of wiggle my hand around and everything for this torch, but on a soldering pan like this, I can just swing it around and pull that solder through. So that's what makes a soldering pan like this my favorite tool. So let me pop this sucker on. The joys of live. Let me try. Can we take that back, please? There we go. And we're going to go and come in and we're going to solder this. Now I'm just going to get kind of close so you guys can see what's going on. So I'm going to kind of solder it as if, can you see that solder in there? You know, there we go. And see how I'm evenly heating that ring, you guys, even heating. And now as my solder starts to heat up, I'm going to come in right with the sweet spot of my torch. And I'm going to just really heat, there we go. Can we see that solder flow? Now watch, I pull that around and see how I get that solder right through with that flame to pull it through the join. That's, again, what makes this my favorite soldering tool. Now, let's go for it and quench. This is my favorite part, right? We want to cool this. So I'm going to come in and quench. Now let's take a look. So you guys, what you might be thinking right now is, well, Kate, you've done a copper ring and you've used that silver solder. Well, the silver solder, since the solder join is so super strong, I'm going to be able just to come in here and file that join away so it'll be super invisible. My next um, trick would be to put this on a ring mandrel and shape it um, and polish it up, but that's as simple as it is. So, come on back up. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I enjoyed having you watch for sure. As always, you can find me all things Kate Richburg related at katerichburg.com. And don't forget, you guys, tune in. You're going to hear that little periscope um, uh, sound come up on your phone or on your iPad. Um, you can tune in um, and watch all my uh, things here live from Tucson. The other thing I want to mention, you can certainly share this on Twitter with your friends if you uh, want other people to uh, take a look at it. And always, you can reach out if you have any questions. You can. Um, connect with me through Twitter or you can email me through my website. We'll see you guys soon with more exciting stuff from Tucson and I've got some instructor friends of mine that you're going to meet. It's going to be super awesome. All right, see you guys soon. Thanks for watching.